Hey everyone, it's Nelson. I finally made it to my new destination in Medellin, Colombia. Today's video is a little bit different. I wanted to tell you about an exciting opportunity that I found out that you can make money while traveling. As most of you know, when we volunteer abroad, there's no paycheck at the end of the day. We do it because we want to go ahead and contribute to society, which is great. But the fact of the matter is we do have to figure out ways to sustain our travel. Some of us like to go ahead and save some money beforehand, and some of us are able and privileged to be able to work online. I've had the opportunity of doing both. I've saved some money in Miami while I was there most recently, and actually I'm gonna go ahead and work online, work on a community as well while I'm here in Colombia before I go ahead and find a project where I can commit full time. This website's called Grabber. The concept is quite simple. We have a shopper in one end, who is looking for a particular item in his or her country and unfortunately they cannot find it. Fortunately for you, you will be able to get that item, bring it over to their country and in exchange they give you a financial incentive. So the final, the following video I'm going to go ahead and go over all the details, exactly what I did and how it works so you can do the same thing and put a little extra cash in your pocket. There's no matter what your situation, we can always use a little extra cash. If you find this video useful in any way and you want to support me, please buy a t-shirt at smilingtimes.com. I hope you enjoy the video. Nothing but love and gratitude. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to go ahead and walk you through this process step by step and let you know exactly how Grabber works. So for starters, this is the website, grabber.io. Ignore this little part here. It's just because of the language I'm currently browsing on. I'm gonna go ahead and make this full screen so we have an easier view for us to see. Now, one thing I wanna go ahead and point out to you, we have two options. We have order with Grabber and we have travel with Grabber. Ordering is for simply the person who's the shopper if you're in a certain country and you can't get a certain item, you want to go ahead and have someone bring something to you, you will go ahead and use that function. However, what we are going ahead and looking at right now is the option so we can go ahead and make money with Grabber, the travel with Grabber. This is essentially the person who is traveling to the end of the country and is agreeing to bring an item from their own country to the country where the item is being requested, okay? Um, it's pretty straightforward up here. You know, you can sign in, log in, and there you go. So I already had an account, and all I have to do is log in. When you sign up, you can go ahead and sign in with Facebook, Google, and so forth, and just create your own account. And it's quite simply a very easy process to get in. Now, once you signed in, you can see it has me logged in. So you know, the first thing you want to go ahead and do is you want to go ahead and, you know, select the travel with a grabber option, okay? Now, when we do that, it's going to get, go ahead and give you the option of the city or the country you're coming from and the city or the country of the destination where you'll be traveling. Now, for the most part, a lot of us already know the place that we'll be going to, but this is a really nice thing to keep in mind. Right here is a very valuable piece of information. This gives you a list of the, all the highest paying destinations. So you can see it can start with Argentina, then it says Brazil, then um, Russia, Peru, and so forth. So, I mean, just a little tad bit of advice. If you're going somewhere next to Brazil, maybe if it's worth enough, time for you. Maybe you make a pick stop to Brazil first before your final destination. Now, I just want to go ahead and give you an example of what they mean about why say as high paid destinations. Right here, there's 10,000 orders. That means there's 10,877 people that are requesting items. Okay. Now, every item can vary in price range as far as the actual amount of how much the item's worth and how much the actual reward would be, okay? So I just wanna give you the price here option, excuse me. As you can see, this person right here is requesting a Samsung RAM memory 16 gig kit. Now, that memory card 
costs $52, okay? And they're offering you $10 to go ahead and bring that item to the country of, of the, excuse me, to the final destination, okay? It's quite straightforward. You simply would make the offer. You go on here. It's going to load up a little bit. And you let them know, let's say we're coming from, in my case, I came most recently from the United States. And I'm going to go to Buenos Aires. And I say I'm going, let's say, the 25th of June. So I would go here next. And now I can see what the total item price is being offered. Okay. They're also taking consideration of what the tax is concerned, okay? And then the reward, it's $10.37. So total, what they're paying for me for the item is $65.85. Now, here's a good tad bit of advice as well. You know, depending where you're going to get this item from, now, I'm not gonna click on it now, but majority of the time it gives you <clears throat> either a direct link to shop with Grabber in their own store where there's some sort of referral link, if you will, or maybe a direct link to Amazon. However, we, a lot of us know shipping for the most part is not free. Depending what country you're on, there's things like Amazon Prime. If you're not familiar with it, essentially, you pay a certain amount of money per year and you get free shipping. So you have to take that in consideration before you go ahead and send the offer. Is this all you're gonna be paying when you get the item or do you have to pay more than that and you have to pay for shipping? So what I like here, it lets you add an additional uh, fee, if you will. So let's say there's $5 extra for shipping or whatever it may be. It's more expensive on the website than it was originally thought to be. You can add the additional fee on here and then change the total of the cost you know so if i wanted to put five dollars extra for shipping seventy dollars and there you go and it also gives you the option to send the shopper in this case pablo the option of hey this is nelson in my case i'm coming over for you and if i want i can add the, the fact while i'm why i'm adding an additional five dollars and i make the delivery offer and that's about it. That's pretty straightforward. Now, I want to show you more so along the lines of what I did. In my case, I was coming from Miami, and in, I was going to Medellin, Colombia. Now, the thing here was Medellin, Colombia. As you can see, there's not much of a demand. There's only four orders, okay? So one's a Google Pixel phone. I believe in Chrome, Chromecast, it says here, and a couple gels and another cell phone. Now, as you can see, this phone has a big high reward of $65. Now, this is very important for you to understand. You have to purchase a phone before you get paid. The grabber or the recipient is not giving you any money beforehand. You have to use your own finances to purchase the phone. So if you don't have this amount, in this case, $479 in the bank, then there's no way you're going to be able to complete the transaction because you will not get paid until after you've delivered the actual item. Now, this is one thing I actually just learned because I'm waiting on my payment. I'll talk about that in a moment here at the end of the video. But essentially, it's going to take 10 days after you deliver the item for you to get paid. It could be sooner, but according to Grabber's terms and conditions, up to 10 days it can take for them to deposit the money into your account. Now, I understand you may wonder, well, how do I know I'm going to get paid? You know, what assurances that do they have for me as the traveler in this case that I'm not going to be jipped out of my money, for example? And that's a fair enough question. In fact, that was a main question for me. The great thing about this is Grabber is essentially holding your money in an escrow account. Before the buyer can go ahead and put this offer or accept the offer rather, when I make the offer for the buyer and the buyer accepts it, the buyer has to deposit the amount 
the 479 and maybe in this case plus the $65 whatever the total out-of-pocket expense will be from the buyer has to be paid directly to grabber before the offer can be accepted and gives me the go-ahead to go ahead and purchase the item so essentially just to go over it with you the buyer once I send this buy this buyer a uh, excuse me yeah I guess we can call him buyer when I send this the uh, this uh, shopper actually uh, and say hey look I'm willing to go ahead and get this item for you grabber sends them notice then the shopper needs to go ahead and deposit the funds into their account it sends me a notice and says hey Nelson you can go ahead and now purchase item because we have the money in our account so that's exactly what happened with me I went ahead and sent an offer for the Amazon fire there are two tablets and it wasn't much money I was kind of to be quite candid with you I wanted to try it out I really wasn't sure how this would work and I was a bit apprehensive even though I know it says it on the website hey it's just how I do business I didn't want to just go in and buy a whole bunch of items and something go wrong so I figured my first time I would take a simple approach and buy something simple and those two Amazon fires so the gentleman accepted the offer it went into the account and then I went ahead and purchased the items now one thing I want to go ahead and suggest for you as well if you decide to do this is in my case I was going to Medellin however if once you're in Colombia and for the most part a lot of any other countries you can fly around inside the country for the most part pretty economical I could have gone to Bogota when I looked at Bogota before and I was looking at this earlier when I first did this they had about 45 hours 45 orders and it has dropped significantly but if there was a good amount of orders and I had a time and maybe uh, more confidence in the whole system since it you know if it wasn't my first time maybe I would have done it and trust me I will definitely do it next time I fly back and forth from another country I could fly to Bogota first Bogota first excuse me and then drop off some items there and then continue my way to Medellin so make a another pit stop but with enough orders whatever costs excuse me whatever expense I bear on the flight will be minimal because it will be made up on the cost of the rewards I'm getting in this case if you can see here we have $40 $40 $40 a 10 another 40 another 10 I know they're 22 36 12 you get the point okay and my flight from Bogota to Medellin I think it was something silly like 50 bucks or something like that so I could have easily flown from Miami first to Bogota and then to Medellin and I would have definitely recouped my expenses with the cost of the rewards uh, I just want to show you a little bit more uh, when we do this here you, all you have to do here is you would go to orders and it would show up here after you make the offer and requested they send you an email letting you know that the buyer accepted your offer and then after they accepted the offer then it's your responsibility as a traveler to go ahead and update the system let them know that you purchased the item and they'll ask you for a tracking number okay and then after that it would be the next part of it is you actually as a traveler going to said country with the items in your hand and I'll go ahead and take that from here and show on to the next clip of how we finish this video. So here we go. Um, I landed in Colombia and this is the next part or the final chapter of the whole grabber expedition. I got my fire tablets. Got two of them in fact. And now I'm meeting the person who ordered them here at the co-working spot. I'm actually in Medellin. And from there, I just go ahead and give them the supplies. And he goes on his way and the money will be held in escrow as soon as he confirms the package and I press the button that I gave it to him and of course take some photos or videos when he arrives it should be all that is necessary or that's left on in this uh, grabber thing 
And that was it. I gave him the tablets. He just came to the office. He's on his way. He confirmed the trip. I gave him a rate. And I made $20. Hey, it's something for better than nothing. It didn't cost me anything else extra to put it on my bag. And, you know, if you ever need to make some money while traveling, you now know you have another option. I'll give you all the details in the comment section. As always, thank you for watching and nothing but love and gratitude.